How's it going everybody? My name is Benjamin Anderson and in today's video we're going to be creating an app using data stored in Smartsheets. Now before we get into the actual tutorial, you will need to make sure you have a grid created in Smartsheet. Inside the grid you will need at least column titles. But as you can see here, I've also put data into the grid for this example. You do not need data in order to start your app, but I've included it to show that you can create an app with data that already exists. Once you have your data set up, we're going to switch over to AppSheet. AppSheet is a platform we're going to use to actually create our app. As you can see here, AppSheet is a no-code platform. This means two things. First, this means you don't need any coding experience to be able to make an app. Second, this means your development time is going to be much lower than it would for traditional development, saving you a lot of time and money. Once you are here, you're going to hit start for free, and then we're going to choose Smartsheet as our authentication method. This is going to allow us to log in with Smartsheet. Once you've signed in, AppSheet is going to ask for permission to access your data inside of Smartsheets. It needs this in order to be able to access the actual data. Once you've granted the necessary permissions, you will see a screen that looks like this, but with fewer apps. Once you are on the screen, you're going to want to press this button here. Next, we're going to choose to start with our own data, since we have data already created, or at least a data structure. And go ahead and name your app. I'm going to name this app AppSheet Smartsheet Demo and for the category I'm going to select other. Click select your data source and if you have more than one data source associated with your AppSheet account then you're going to want to select the source that goes with the Smartsheet data we're trying to use. If you didn't have more than one data source you should have been immediately taken to this screen here we're going to select the grid we want to use to start the app. If there's more than one grid here that you want inside your app, don't worry. You can add another one once the app is created. Once you've decided which grid you want to start with, double click on it and AppSheet will start creating your app. It creates it for you. It takes a surprisingly short amount of time for AppSheet to create your app. Once it is finished, you do technically have an app that could be put on your phone and used. That being said, let me break down what we're currently seeing. On the left, we see the actual editor where we will be making the changes to the app. And on the right, we see an emulator that shows what you would see on your phone if you were to deploy and download this app. We can click around inside the app to see what it would look like in the different views on our phone. And that is all you have to do to make an app from data stored in Smartsheet. We can add more data by going to Data, Tables, and pressing Add New Table, and selecting the table we want to add. Once you do this, AppSheet will create new views and, new, and a new table based on the grid you chose to add. And that is all you need to do to actually create the app. You can deploy this and download the AppSheet app from either the Android or Apple app stores and use this on your phone. That being said, in all likelihood, this isn't everything you were wanting. You probably wanting, wanted something a little bit more fleshed out, and that is completely fair, and we're here to help. Our YouTube channel is chock full of helpful videos to help you flesh out your app and get the final product you were looking for. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to throw them in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you have a great day. Bye. At Crew Technologies, we love helping people get great value out of AppSheet. We do that through offering professional services and helpful content like this. To stay up to date, like and subscribe, and we're always trying to improve. So leave us your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching.